when you take into account guys like Antonio Brown, Julio Jones, Stephen A., do you believe OBJ is the best wide out in the game? No, I do not. Um, I think, and here's the thing, and I tried to explain this on radio yesterday. Odell Beckham Jr. deserved his money, mm -hmm. and he deserved every penny of his money because he's worth it as a star, as a star in the media capital of the world. He literally is box office. You don't go to the NFL, to the stadium, just to watch the Giants. You go to see what this man is going to do. I'm not questioning any of that. I just think that he does not deserve any a penny more than Antonio Brown so it's one of those situations where I'm thinking if he got 65 million dollars guarantee Antonio should get 66 million guarantee that's how I feel about it because he is not Antonio Brown his resume isn't unto Antonio Brown his level of production is not Antonio Brown's now that doesn't mean that he doesn't have the skill and a comparable skill set necessary I'm not saying it like that but where Max and I part ways is that Max a lot lots of times looks strictly at projection okay here's where we are right now moving forward that's what I'm paying you for well damn it the reason I'm considering paying you the reason why we're in contract negotiations the reason why we're having this discussion and this dialogue is because of what I've seen you do and what I've seen Antonio Brown do year after year after year after year is be nothing short of spectacular Look, over the last five or six this years. Is not, this and is that not, is the bottom line. This is not an anti-Antonio Brown I understand. argument. Antonio Brown, it's, as I said, and often. it's not anti-Odell Beckham Jr. Right. either. Randy Moss in his prime was just different. Calvin Johnson, just different. I'm talking about since Jerry Rice, the GOAT, sure. right? Those two guys have stood out. And Antonio Brown is putting up numbers that are comparable, basically, to a prime Jerry Rice. Nothing against Antonio Brown or Julio Jones, who's a beast. No problems off the field, no, nothing, just balls, right? And he has a lot of the same talent that Odell has, but he's bigger without the distractions. Right. All that said, Stephen A., a lot of it, the way you get paid in the NFL mm -hmm. is projection. That's why running backs don't get paid. They're drafted. They're working on their rookie deal. If they're great, they get franchised once or twice. Ask Le'Veon Bell. And then they go, you're 28. You're only going to be good probably till you're 30. We're not giving you a long-term deal. Because the way the deals work is here's this huge amount of money. We're prorating it over this time. That's your signing bonus so we can stay under the cap. Yeah, it's $50 million, but it's really $10 million a year for five years. So it's only hitting us $10 million a year. So the, far, the longer your horizons that are likely, the okay. more you're going to get paid. Now, I'm just – forget about all that. I'm talking about quality of the player. Yes. You, know why, you know why Mike Trout is in the conversation for greatest player of all time? Because when he was 21 – he had one of the greatest seasons ever at 21. 22, same thing. 23. For his age, every year, he had a season that's like, that might be the greatest season anyone that age mm -hmm. has ever had. Right. So eventually, you turn 26, 27 years old, you're like, well, I mean, and then you're going to be in your physical prime. You're like, well, if every year he's in the running for the greatest ever at that age, at a certain age, maybe you're just the greatest ever. Odell Beckham was arguably the greatest receiver ever at his age as a rookie. He had one of the greatest rookie receiving uh, years ever now I'm waiting he's 26 years old Antonio Brown's 30. 30 when he was 25 he was a better receiver than when Antonio Brown was 25 mm. he's 26 at a certain point he's just going to be in his prime he's four years younger so I can't prove it yet because he hasn't caught the passes in the playoffs. Okay, well, well I appreciate you let me, acknowledging let me just, that you can't prove I can't prove it yet I'll make this right. one last point and then it's all you I don't care that it's a small sample size I don't care why why Odell dropped the passes. Odell has to dr catch passes in the playoffs in order for me to say, yeah, unequivocally, that's the best dude in the NFL at the position. Mm -hmm. He hasn't done that yet, but I am predicting he will. Right. And if you ask me how I feel, who do I really think and feel? The guy no, I no, want, I would say no, Odell no, over no, Brown no, no, and Jones. My brother, I'm not, I'm not knocking how you feel. You are entitled to your feelings. You're a sensitive lad. I totally understand <laughs> it. I get it. More power to you, my brother. But the bottom line is this. Antonio Brown, 30 years of age, last five years, 110, 129, 136, 106, 101 receptions for 
a minimum of 12, only one of those seasons was 1,284 yards. Every other season has been over 1,400 yards. This brother has been nothing short of spectacular while fighting for his money, okay? And in the process of fighting for his money, having a quarterback who's questioned whether or not he even wants to play anymore. Oh. Injuries. Oh, injuries. I know. you can't. You that. are using the Steelers oh. to count against oh. Antonio yes. Brown in an argument yes. against Odell? I'm sorry. I hear y'all interrupting me <laughs> when I sat here and waited. Go ahead. Okay? Y'all are interrupting me. The bottom oh, line is man. this. I'm telling you, you know, my little violin. Ben Roethlisberger has been injured. Eli Manning has been an Iron Man. Consistency. Oh, now this, Eli Manning's an Iron Man. An Iron so Man now means that you're. Uh, yeah, I know uh, what uh, an Iron is Man that, means. Is that, is, that, is that why you interrupted my point? Because I know what because Iron Eli Manning is there Molly, every day. Game. What's Molly, an Iron Man? He's there every day. Because I want to he's smoke every, him in a he's second. Every, he's there every game. Go ahead. Continuity Tell matters. Tell me when. Continuity matters. Le'Veon Bell suspended one time, injured another. The consistent element of the Pittsburgh Steelers offense when. has been Antonio Brown. The numbers speak for themselves. Playoff production and, and, and regular season production speak for themselves. We've seen one sample of Odell Beckham Jr. targeted 11 times, four receptions, 28 yards after the wrong decision to when. go to Miami. All of these things happen. So what I'm saying to you is this. If we're talking about the business of football, which you are popular for bringing up, and you talk about taking into account facts, I'm giving you facts. Tell me when. I'm not when? giving you emotion. When?